Welcome to a new episode of Geek Lunch Meet. I'm your host Chris as usual. Instead of bringing you the latest news and reviews like I normally do, instead this is going to be part one of a series where I am going to be building the Ravel model kit of the Razorcrest Din Djarin spaceship from the Mandalorian series on Disney+. Plus. I've been building model kits on and off uh, since I was a kid. Um, I've got some uh, tools and I've got a cheap airbrush and a cheap compressor. Um, need upgrading really. So this first video is just going to be quite a short one as we uh, open up the box, take a look and see what we've got inside and uh, have a look at how I'm going to tackle putting it together and painting it all up. So let's get started, get this box open and see what we've got. So as you can see we've got the box here, slightly too big to fit in, all in the frame of the shot but um, we've got so Star Wars The Mandalorian, it's from Ravel, so this is a level 3 kit. I'm not familiar with Ravel and their skill levels but obviously this is in the uh, intermediate and um, not easy, not really hard. So um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, you can see it says Razor Crest down the bottom. Uh, it's 172 scale and there are 101 parts and it's going to be 33.7 uh, centimeters long. Now, that's one of the reasons I went with the Ravel kit. Um, Bandai do one as well. Bandai make absolutely superb models, uh, very detailed. And the problem is they tend to make them really small. So they do a Razor Crest, but it's, um, I think it's less than half the size of this. Uh, it's quite small. Um, and uh, it's going to cost you about the same price. This I got on eBay for £45, uh, which was a pretty good deal. They usually seem to go for about 45 uh, to uh, sort of 65 up to 70 even in some places, depending where you're getting it from. So, um, yeah, the lovely image on the front there painted of the Razor Crest. Uh, on the side, uh, just some photographs of uh, what's in the box there and then a uh, uh, completed uh, the landing gear and looking into the back of the ship uh, on this side um, just pretty much the same as what's on the front um, yeah this side just the same artwork and there's Din Djarin himself and I'm guessing this side is going to be Yep, exactly the same. On the back of the box, we can see a photograph there of the more of the finished kit and a view of the cockpit. Again, just says it's a level three kit. Uh, tells you what tools and also gives you a guide on what color uh, paints you will need uh, to uh, to finish the Razor Crest off with. Right, that's enough of the box. Uh, let's get it open and see what's inside. So unlike most model kits uh, where the top lifts off, this actually opens from the end. So we'll open the flap and we will just carefully take out all the parts. Let's see what we've got in here. And the instructions as well. So we can see straight away, here's the main body uh, of the Razor Crest, all been uh, molded as one part. Uh, which looks fantastic. There's some really nice details uh, molded in on the front there. Uh, all the panel lines inscribed in. Um, yeah, and it's looking like a really nice kit. Lots of nice detail on the bottom there as well. And that's the instructions. We'll put those to one side for the moment. Right, so we have got, so there's one, uh, two, uh, three bags of parts and the uh, clear pieces, the uh, cockpit glass. So we'll get these opened up and let's see what we've got going on inside. So this is the first bag of parts. Uh, it's just been taped shut. So we'll just open that up. Take these out. See what we've got on the sprues. This looks like the uh, interior, um, sort of bulkheads of the ship there as well. Um, some real nice details on those. 
And then this is uh, the top. Um, yeah, which looks fantastic. Lots of nice details molded in there. Uh, looks like the um, laser cannons um, down the bottom there as well. And a few more bulkheads at the top there. Onto the next bag. And this looks like this is the uh, the big engine parts. Again, it's just taped closed. Let's see what we find here. And yeah, so there's two two sprues there. And yeah, these are the uh, the huge sort of oversized uh, engines out of the Razor Crest has. Um, again, really nice molding on there. Um, some uh, more bulkheads um, at the top there and there is um you can just about see as a din jarring himself there if the camera will focus don't know if it will to go in the cockpit and then here we've got the uh the other parts of the engines and uh, sort of uh sort of uh, intakes there and that looks like the uh looks like the loading ramp yeah all these parts really nicely molded um looking really good let's get the uh, the next bag out so this is a smaller bag it looks like it contains the uh the stand and the landing gear pesky thing there we go right there is uh there's obviously the stand and another part of there for having it in flight and the rest of this is mostly looks like for making up the landing gear i think it gives you the option you can have the razor crest in flight or um you can have it with the landing gear down and the hatch is open i haven't decided what to do yet i haven't looked at the instructions yet so i'm not sure if you can have it so the hatches can be uh can open and close um if i do it in flight or completely closed obviously you won't see any of the details that are inside so um yeah i've not decided yet we'll have a have a look at that later uh, let's have a look at the uh the bag of clear parts so yeah, this is just the small bag of uh clear uh parts for the cockpit there we are um yeah it's got the, uh, all the different cockpit glasses to go on nothing too exciting there so let's take a look at the uh, the instructions and the decals. Right, so here are the instructions for the Razor Crest. Uh, all in colour, which is really nice. Uh, all the things you need there, tips for build, putting the model together. This is a painting guide. Uh, even gives you uh, some ratios of uh, what uh, to mix the paints together for the different colours, which is nice. Uh, a layout there of all the parts I've just shown and then more in depth all the parts and then onto the build starting with the cockpit and uh, Din Djarin himself there um, and giving you uh, colour code as well uh, for painting um, as you go along which is really nice um, yes yeah, assembling the cockpit all the interior uh, walls and the bulkheads and things and then on to the uh actually putting the top and the uh, all the main body together the engines and the laser cannons as well uh carrying on with the engines and then that's how you put the stand together and if you're going to do it in flight mode um that would be it done um and then these pages cover the landing gear as i say still not decided yet um which way to have that um would be nice the landing gear do look quite detailed um it might be nice to have it sitting there with the uh, with the ramps and the hatch open but um yeah i'll decide on that later and i think that's it for the instructions so on with the decals um i've always called these decals i've noticed on a few youtube videos i've been watching recently people call them decals um so I don't know if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but they've always been decals to me, so I will carry on calling them decals. Now, I probably won't use most of these. Um, all of the actual markings here um, that go on the outside of the Razor Crest, I don't like using decals um, like in large areas, uh, so I will be masking those off and spraying those up with the airbrush and weathering them all down. Um, if you've not got um, 
like the ability or the equipment to do that um, I'm sure these will probably work just fine and they have already uh, distressed them all um, it's all paint uh, you know chipped and peeling off there um, so they've done a nice effect on that I say I probably won't use these I will probably use these little ones that go in the cockpit um, save me uh, trying to paint in all the small detail and then to be honest once the uh, glass is on the cockpit and it's all closed up you won't get to see much of them any anyway. rate so yeah that is uh, all the decals there so there's all the parts there for building the uh, Ravel 172 scale Razor Crest from the Mandalorian. If you'd like to hit the uh, like button and subscribe, uh, follow the rest of the build. That would be absolutely fantastic. I'd love to have you here. So in the next video, I'll be looking at uh, starting to assemble it into uh, probably some different separate uh, subsections and uh, starting to look at uh, undercoating as well. And then uh, the fun part will be coming to get the uh, actual chrome sort of finish uh, that the Razor Crest has um, not something I've really done before on a uh, on a kit of this size, um, so we'll see how that goes, and then on to, after that we'll be on to the uh, the fun part of the weathering, uh, which is the thing I enjoy most, making it all look battered and uh, dinged up as um, as all the sort of Star Wars ships are not as uh, not as dinged up as obviously the uh, as the Razor Crest gets at the, at the end of uh, of the second season of the Mandalorian, where it's uh, well it actually ends up pretty up looking more like that, really just a big pile of pieces. But um, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, until next time, uh, eat geek and be merry.